Good afternoon, everyone. This is John Barker from PTW Solutions. Hope everyone's having a great day thus far. Today, I wanted to do a tutorial on USAspending.gov. So type that into your favorite web browser, and this is what the page will look like once you get there. What I like to do is I like to go to this award search and advanced search. So let's get a little introduction into the, uh, the fields here that we can do queries on. And uh, we could do our time periods. You can do it off keywords, which is interesting if you know a specific acronym or something you're looking for. Uh, award types, you can do specific standalone contracts, contract vehicles, grants, direct payments, loans, etc. cetera. Uh, agencies, I um, don't really use that very much. Location, recipients, if you have a specific company name, you can pull them up in here and see what kind of federal spending they get. Uh, some of the underrated ones, I think, are doing searches by the NACE code, North American Industry Classification, and the product or service code. Uh, once you're uh, really fluent with these, you can get a lot of really good insights as to companies and agencies that are uh, buying um, the products and services that you provide in your company. And you can do whether it's cost plus, fixed fee, uh, all sorts of stuff, fixed price, labor hours, all that stuff. And you can do set asides as well. So. Let's take a look at one of the bigger ones. Uh, let's just do DOD, shall we? So let's do Department, Department of Defense. It should pop up, and then we'll do a quick search here. So, uh, oh, I got it in all years. Let's let's pull this out. 31 million contracts in this data set here, uh, but I didn't specify. I only want to do a couple handful of years here. So let's redo this and see how many we get all right so we've got 12.2 million different contracts 93,000 different contract vehicles um i don't really use the grants or these uh other fields very often um, these are probably um, could be otas or uh, some other mechanism uh, i like to look at the maps I'm, in, I'm into maps so i like looking at it by the state and you can flip it to the county and also congressional district so i kind of enjoy looking at those things as well then you can flip this here so this is where the 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 contract performance is located generally speaking and then this is where the recipients are so I'll probably see a whole bunch around dc um can't really see very well can you a lot of the big cities would probably have all the hubs in yeah, northern virginia dc maryland um like there's a bunch in Austin probably or Houston perhaps um, yeah so uh, the other cool part about this you go to categories and you can see uh, you go down to this drop down you can see the recipients you always see the top 10 recipients or so Lockheed electric boat um, Humana Boeing Raytheon Sikorsky and uh, this is a fun one to go to the industry code and you can see the biggest products and services that are categorized uh, by the DOD. So the most expensive or the most things they're spending money on are aircraft and drugs and biologicals, uh, professional support services, ships, medicine, missiles, etc. Then the NACE code, uh, which will get you the industries that the companies that are winning the work are classified in. Or that's not true. It's the contract that is flagged to a NACE. Um, so aircraft manufacturing, engineering, shipbuilding, etc. So it's a quick, just kind of crash course into the functionality of uh, USA spending. Uh, I am now, I used to be uh, born and raised inside the Beltway and recently moved my family to Wilmington, North Carolina. So I'm been really interested in looking at contracts that are being performed um, in my uh my new locale so what i want to do here is i want to go look at the location and i'm going to specify it for north carolina so here we go add the filter and we we'll hit to make sure it took and then hit submit search again now up here is going to be all your kind of um your query parameters so we got um three full years and uh, this current fiscal year that we're in. Now, for those who don't know, the government fiscal years run on October 1 through September 30. Um, so currently we are in fiscal year 22 uh, and fiscal year 23 will uh, we'll be in that in October 1 of 2022. Um, so we did the switch to North Carolina. So let's go back to our map here 
and a place of performance, no surprise. Everything's in North Carolina per our uh, parameter. And let's take a look at the counties. Um, where the most of the money's going, it's got a little bit darker shade of blue here. So Onslow and uh, Cumberland. Looks like this one up here, Durham as well, getting a lot of D. Again, this is uh, specific to DOD. Uh, but one of the things I like to do is uh, congressional district, district as well. Now let's take a look at if we flip this tab from the place performance to recipient location, we get a couple interesting things come out. Um, okay, so what we're seeing here is a lot, all the work that's coming, uh, being performed in North Carolina you can see how much money is actually going to um, companies that are located outside of North Carolina. The last time I did this math, it was about 72% of the money was going to states headquartered outside of North Carolina. Uh, again, all of it's, um, and I'm just um, delighted to think about if what, what the local business community could do in North Carolina, if we could inverse that, uh, that math and have 72% of North Carolina based companies getting prime contract dollars for work being performed in North Carolina. I think that would make a huge uh, uplift in the entrepreneurial community down here and would result in a, um, a rising tide lift boats all, or all boat situation where uh, wages and uh, worker empowerment would, would increase a lot, I, I believe, um, if they were able to do that. So let's take one more quick look at, uh, we did the categories, let's switch to the, um, the industry codes again. Let's get to a specific PSC code. So I always like these R99, or R499, that's a uh, other. If you see a 99 in these PSC codes, it's basically you know an other type of. Uh, so let's drill down specifically into that product service code and see what we can see. Enter it in because we hard coded it. We'll click that again. Filter updated. Hit the ah. I hit the reset search. I wonder if I can go back. No, I can't. Well, that's a bummer. Well, maybe next time I will do that for you. So appreciate all y'all looking. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to give me a shout. Uh, the best way to reach me is at, on LinkedIn at John Barker, or um, my email is uh, John J O N at Price to win solutions.com. Hope everyone's well. Have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for listening. Take care. Bye.